the guests are no less fascinating. That includes a leader of an alleged cult known as Mother God. Dr. Phil told me what makes her story so intriguing. The premiere you have is a two-parter about a cult. Let's make sure I get this right. It's run by someone who calls herself Mother God. Well, you got it exactly right, Sibley. If you recall being crucified on the cross and that you are God. In truth, we are all God. This is a, and I'll say an alleged cult because they don't admit themselves to be a cult. Her family, as well as ex-members, think she is extremely dangerous. You call yourself Mother God. She got asked hard questions and shown video that had leaked out. She didn't have a lot of answers. What type of advice do we offer her family? How do you explain abandoning your children? They're of the opinion that she is so far gone that she is beyond help. She's saying she's doing spiritual surgeries on people's brains and has lived over 500 lifetimes before now. Just a strange, strange situation. Why do you feel that I am the only one that can help you? Strange is nothing new to Dr. Phil, whose show has now been on for nearly two decades. How does it feel for you to be able to...